All right, guys, so there you have it, the Jafali uh, street light all mounted up on my uh, pole out here. So let's go ahead and turn on the Jafali street lamp. And there we go. I can now see my entire yard absolutely crystal clear. Now All right, guys, so here we have the G Folly Solar Flood Street Light. This is everything you get in the package. Here's that huge solar panel back here. This is a pretty big light. So, this is going to cast enough light to fill your entire yard area wherever you're going to put this thing. So, we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions right here in this manual. Put this thing on the pole, get it together, let it charge for a little bit stick it out in the backyard and see how well it illuminates the area. Let's go. All right, guys, so here's your instructions. Um, hopefully you have a little bit of common sense because it doesn't really tell you how to uh, put the pole and everything together on it. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but if you're one of those people who needs like a visual representation on like step-by-step -step how to put stuff together, this is not for you because these instructions are uh, lacking in that department. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put it together. So one quick note, you can either do a wall mount or a pole mount. Now, the difference is for the wall mount, you only put the one piece on and it bolts right into whatever wall structure you have. And then the pole mount, you're going to use both pieces and it's going to create basically a clamp around whatever pole you decide to use. So uh, make sure you check your pole's diameter to make sure the clamps will reach around it with the bolts that are included and uh, make the best decision for you. Uh, All right. So first and foremost, we're going to take our pole because no matter what you do, you're going to mount this pole to this light housing. All right, so what you're gonna do is just set it there like that. Simple, right? All right, and then there's two brackets left over, and again, the instructions tell you absolutely nothing useful. So common sense, you tr if you try this one, you'll realize that the holes don't match up. So you know that's not the right bracket. That means you only have one bracket left. It's that one. You see how it's rounded to the pole? So that's how you know this one goes here and the holes do match up. Now you got a bunch of hardware here. Again, your instructions tell you nothing about which hardware to use. So me being common sense guy, that's not that deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these bolts here with a washer. And you're gonna go ahead and put them through the hole here. And I'm gonna do that with all four of them. And then I'm gonna turn it over. And when you turn it over, you'll notice that this side has a recessed opening for the nut to go into. So we're gonna go ahead and get all four screws attached now, and I'll come right And in. all right, we're back. So now this bracket is installed. You see those four screws with the washers here. And then over here, that's where you put your nuts. And yes, these two stick out incredibly long for no reason. Um, no, these ones are not shorter. They are all for the same length. I thought that as well. I'm like, oh man, I put the ones that are supposed to go up here back here, but no, they're all for the same size. So that wasn't it. These are just long for no reason. I don't know. So that's what you get there. And it didn't make sense to put these circle heads on this side because this little cutout is what gives the nuts retention to not spin while you're tightening the bolt. So this is the correct orientation. Again, I'm gonna keep saying it. Your instructions don't tell you anything about what hardware to use for what. So you're taking your best guess here. All right, so now at this point, you can decide to wall mount it using just this mount here. You go ahead and you would pick any flat surface. Obviously, I wouldn't pick my garage door. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and mount it up like that, and then the light just sits and does what the light needs to do. Or you can decide that you want to run it around a pole, and that's where this other bracket comes in. You have these two together. Take these four bolts here, put it around whatever uh, structure you can find, and then go ahead and bolt these two brackets together around that pole. Um, for wall mounting, I'm assuming, now don't sue me, I'm assuming you use 
these right here. Now, I don't know why they would have bolt ends. I don't even know what the hell type of screws these are. Um, I really don't know what these are used for. I'm not like a super carpenter or anything. I could put some stuff together, but uh, I've never seen this particular set of hardware here. If this was gonna be wall mounted, you wouldn't need, you know, nuts on the end of it because obviously it'd be going straight into a wall so i really don't know what the heck that right there is used for i would assume you would just use these these are much shorter so if i was going to wall mount i would just drill out for these but i wouldn't need these extra pieces here the sleeve and the nut end i would just need this to go straight into whatever wall i'm drilling into i, I really don't know but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this mounted outside. I'll put you guys on a little time lapse and then we'll wait till nighttime. Turn this sucker on and see what it does. All right guys, so there you have it. The Jafali uh, street light all mounted up on my uh, pole out here. So, we're gonna go ahead and let that thing charge in the sun and tonight come back because obviously you're not gonna test the light during the daytime. That All right guys, so what we do have included with the light is a remote. Now, according to the manual here, the remote can reach 30 to 40 feet. So anywhere within my yard, please excuse my grass, I should be able to activate the light. No problems because it's not 30 to 40 feet wide. Your yard, your use may vary, so there's that. All right, so here's the functions of your remote. Pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory, but it is there in case you need it. Now, we've got a couple different uh, settings here. So obviously it charges during the day, automatically lighting at dusk, and then it has a motion sensing mode, which when no one's passing, the light brightness is 20% of its max capacity. When someone passes, that thing goes ahead and automatically increases to 100%. You can also adjust that 20%. So if you don't want it to be 20%, you want it to be 50, 60, 70, 100%, whatever. You can absolutely make it brighter via your remote. So I do have street lights back there, but the yard itself stays kind of uh, dark. Um, and my house light doesn't really do crap because it's like 10 watts. So this should illuminate, should illuminate my entire backyard here. So, um, again, guys, I'll come back at you, um, when the sun goes down, but right here, charge it for 10 to 12 hours prior to this thing's been sitting out in the sun doing its thing before I did the install. So it's all good. Um, I did the test. It does turn on the recommended installation height is 16 to 26 feet. So that is probably right about, I don't know, 14, 15 feet. So I'm a little bit lower than the recommended and reason it recommends that is that way it gives it a good throw. Um, the lower to the ground it is, obviously it's not going to push that ambient lighting you know around where it needs to go but for me my yard's pretty small so that's why and i'm only working with what i'm working with so you know it is what it is all right guys so we're uh, back out in the yard you can see uh as i said it's completely you know pretty dark in the yard you can't see now with the naked eye you can see a little bit better than with the camera however still doesn't change the fact that you can't really see anything there's those uh street lights that are back on the road behind my house but it doesn't really give you much ambient lighting in the yard itself so let's go ahead and turn on the Jafali street lamp. And there we go. I can now see my entire yard absolutely crystal clear. Now, if this was a little bit higher, it would project that light a little bit further. However, for what where it's mounted right now with the space that I have, it's working. Please excuse my yard. I was gone on vacation for two weeks and I got some work to do here. Um, but anyway, so right now I'm at 100% brightness. If I look at my remote here, if I hit the M, that's gonna put it into the uh, motion detecting mode where it'll drop down to 20% lighting. And then when motion is detected, it will kick back up to 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press motion now. All right, it's gonna detect me here. So I'm gonna try to stay still for a moment. All right, so it just kicked down the 20%. I'm gonna move my arm. 
all right, back to 100. So pretty cool, motion does work. Um, we also have the ability to um, keep it at 100% brightness. So say you're having a party, something outside, you can hit three hour and it'll stay at 100% brightness for three hours and then kick down to the 20% or five hours or eight hours, whatever you want. If you wanna hit auto, it'll keep it on 100% uh, forever until you change it. If you wanna customize it, so you want it 60% brightness, you can hit these plus and minus uh, buttons here and it'll decrease or increase the brightness by 10% each time. So uh, right now we're at 100, so I can go ahead and hit this minus button. Oh, sorry, I'm in motion mode. Let me clear the settings this red button clears out all the settings all right so now it's at 100 percent i can go ahead and decrease it each time see how it's getting dimmer all right and now i can go ahead and increase brightness until i get back up to that 100 percent so pretty cool street lamp super easy to use again i don't have to be up there touching anything this remote works uh, i can go all the way to the other side of my yard just to uh make sure that it reaches so let's uh go ahead and turn it off all right so now it's off turn it back on i will say with the remote if you're at a distance like this if you keep the remote lower it's gonna reach the sensor that's kind of on the bottom if i have it up here like chest height and i try to turn it off it doesn't work but if i bring it down here it works so you kind of just have to play around with it a little bit but that is the jafali street lamp and uh i think this thing's pretty cool um does exactly what i needed to do all right, and then just real quick, because I remember I glossed over it. So here are the specs on this light. So solar panel, six volt, 32 watt, 320 piece LED, 6,500K cool white uh, color temperature, IP67 weatherproof rating made out of aluminum aluminum alloy and glass and then there's the uh, size right there so it's, it's a rather large light but it does exactly what you need it to do and then that's all the stuff that comes in the bag there all right guys so let me know what you think about this light down in those comments and uh if you're interested and you need one i might pick up a couple for my in-laws because their yard is completely pitch black at nighttime and uh, i worry about their security so cool let me know what you guys think